Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Well, this morning we're getting ready to have our smoothie and we're going to have our little talk. So we've pretty much started doing the smoothies and having a little morning talk, it seems. So uh, this morning we're going to use uh, the greens that I got from Vilo the other day. And we're using uh, spinach, baby spinach and arugula which i love in a salad but i want to go ahead and use some of it see there i love it in a salad i really do but we're going to have to use the rest of it today because it's almost out of date so i'm using a lot more of the greens today and we're going to go ahead and put four cubes of orange juice in three cubes of cream of wheat and oatmeal and that's the steel cut oatmeal and three dates. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the carrots. I went ahead and peeled the carrot and cut it up. It was kind of a large carrot actually. Yeah, I'm putting those in because you can't taste them and we're just getting that extra nutrition. All right, so putting in the celery. And this morning I'm going to use pineapple to, because the, the arugula has a pretty strong taste even though I like it you know it doesn't make for a real good sweet smoothie all right so we're putting in let's see five of those little cubes of pineapple now don't uh, grind the pineapple up and freeze it I just cut it up and freeze it that way so this morning we're using uh, bananas from the freezer Right there we go. Squeeze those little ends out. And they come out much easier when they're frozen. I just pop them out and all of the uh, strings stay in the peeling. Plus I don't get it all over my hands. Yeah, I'm not fixing quite as much this morning because we've already got uh, enough overage for Sunday. All right, a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter. All right, so now let me get a paper towel. Um, we're going to do some things today. I think I'm the one going to do this today. Mr. Bucky will be running errands. So, in the other car, I guess, because uh, we've got to uh, work on the town car. By the way, on the ceramic knives, they do stain, y'all. And the instructions say to not put them in the dishwasher, but I put them in there anyway. See the it kind of makes the handle wrinkle up a little bit but it does take the stain off where just washing them doesn't and the biggest thing that stains them is uh, bananas even when you wipe it off right away it still stains the knives a little bit all right so uh, what we're going to do then is add probably a cup and a half of water to the smoothie And we're ready to go. Can y'all see that? There. Yeah, so we've got the baby spinach and arugula, dates, celery, carrots, cream of wheat and oatmeal, and I've already forgotten what else, uh, pineapple, bananas, peanut butter. I think there's one other thing in there I have forgotten probably. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, grind this up. And we'll be right back. All right, the other ingredient I forgot were the three dates. So I'm not even going to taste of it this morning because we're going to drink it just like this. I'm not adding any sugar or anything. It's really a bright green. And just from my experience with pineapple, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to taste any of the greens because of the pineapple. Okay, I had a teeny bit of overage, which Mr. Bucky will drink. Just a little bit, about three or four tablespoons. All right, here goes. Good or not, we're going to drink it like this. 
It's delicious. Tastes like pineapple, y'all. Just exactly like pineapple. I can't even taste the peanut butter this morning. All right, so let me put these aside for a minute. They're very good, by the way, and a very, very bright color of green this morning. Um, so this morning, or rather today, let me get a little list out here. Uh, what we're going to do, we've got to, a leak in the town car on the uh, driver's side. And from all we can tell, it's coming down from where the wires come through from, I guess, the motor uh, through that, what they call the firewall. And uh, we looked this up online, and Mr. Bucky says we can fix it. So uh, the problem is he's too big. He can't get in there like I can and because uh, his shoulders are too wide to get up under there and uh, or without kind of laying on the ground kind of thing. So anyway, he says he thinks I can do it. So it's just a matter of he's going to pull everything back, the carpet and that padding, and then we'll see there's two little places in there that we need to put caulk in around those wires. and. Uh, so we're going to do that. That's probably a real quick fix, really. And the other thing is I'm going to resurface the floors in here in the kitchen. Now, we didn't have a chance to do that before the real estate people came. Sorry. And um, we're on the other side, so it's kind of hard for my camera to fit here, really. Um, anyway, uh, we didn't have a chance to do that uh, before. And so we were waiting for a day when it would be real low humidity, and that's today. So um, we're going to clean them. And what we're going to do is use this. Now, the floors were done with polyurethane, let's see, probably 25 years ago. And really, the only floor in the whole house that's really some of the finishes worn off of it is here in the kitchen in front of the sink, in front of the refrigerator, and also in front of the freezer. The rest of it looks okay, like under the table and everything. It's not worn at all. But we're just going to uh, go ahead and clean it real good. So you clean it with uh, this one, the floor cleaner, and then you put it on with this. And it says on there, for shine that lasts for years. Now we got the satin because that's what the floors are. They're, they're all done in the satin because we didn't want them super shiny because when you do them real shiny, uh, what happens is every little place kind of reflects back that shine and you can see little dents and little places where people have walked on the floors with those real high spiky heels. And so we, we tend to go with the satin because of that. It really looks better. Also, on the stairs, there's a couple of places uh, where the dogs ran up to look out the window. And so we're going to do that. and we, That'll be a real easy fix. But anyway, that's what we're doing today, and that's going to be it. I don't think it'll take very long to do the floor. Uh, Mr. Bucky's already gone. I'm going to have to put his smoothie in the uh, refrigerator uh, running errands, and he should be back before too much longer. And because I obviously need his help to move this table out, but those chairs I could move myself. And I'm going to go ahead and get started on the uh, cleaning of the floor. And my understanding, after reading all the directions and everything, it has to be vacuumed really good and make sure there no, there's no hair or anything. Now, the poodles don't really shed but I do, and so does Mr. Bucky, so we got to make sure there's no hair and stuff on the floor. And also, I'm going to put up the baby gate between the kitchen and the uh, den to keep the dogs out of here, because knowing them, they'll be right where I'm working if I don't do something. All right, and here's the other thing, and I wanted to mention this. If y'all uh, look at the um, video for yesterday and where I made the burger dog, uh, 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 one of the subscribers wrote in and said I should call it uh, uh, Popeye Melt, which I thought was a great idea. So I went back and just in the title made it uh, uh, Burger Dog, also known as Popeye Melt. And I'm sure that's because of the spinach on it. So uh, anyway, uh, the other thing is about the uh, bok choy for the salad. 
uh, Maxie Doodle wrote and said, no, that's not uh, bok choy, that's Napa cabbage. And of course, I knew that what I had bought was bok choy, right? That's what I thought. I mean, it said bok choy. So um, anyway, I dug out everything and looked, and sure enough, it says bok choy. But when I looked it up and looked to try to compare the different pictures of the bok choy and the Napa cabbage, it looks a lot more like Napa cabbage than bok choy to me. So we're going to give uh, Maxi Doodle credit for noticing that because I sure didn't notice it. Although the outer leaves, which we had used several times in, in uh, smoothies and in salad, uh, were that dark green. They were smooth. I mean, it looked like bok choy. It was labeled bok choy. Why wasn't it bok choy? I don't know, but I think it's Napa cabbage. But anyway, uh, of course, I love Napa cabbage too, but I really wanted that to be bok choy because I think bok choy probably has a little more nutrition than the Napa cabbage does. And it just seems nice to say a salad out of bok choy, right? It does. It's the salad of kings in China, right? So uh, anyway, Maxi Doodle, I think you're right. I think we've got Napa cabbage, but we're gonna have that again today, probably use up the rest of it on a salad. And another subscriber wrote in and said that they did the, uh, the same kind of salad and with the pears, and the only difference was they put uh, uh, cheddar cheese on the top of it, and I thought, great idea I'm gonna do that because I love pears and uh, cheddar cheese now I do a little thing with pears um, the canned pears I don't use the fresh for this but they're canned pears halves and make a little thing like we used to have in school in the 1950s where they mix mayonnaise and cheddar cheese and just put about a tablespoon right in the middle of that little gullied out place where the seeds of the pear were. It's delicious. I love it. Mr. Bucky loves it. And uh, so I thought, wow, I wonder why I didn't think about putting cheddar cheese on this. But anyway, one of the subscribers thought of it and that's what we're gonna do with the salad today. I think I'm gonna make chicken and dumplings and uh, have a salad. So. Anyway, um, we will see y'all a little bit later. Maybe I'll record a little bit to do with resurfacing the floors. I don't know if y'all have used this uh, floor restorer or not, but I'm also going to use it on the little edge around my kitchen uh, where I put the tile in because, I mean, it's been washed and cleaned so many times that a lot of the finish is worn off. Now there's no stain on it, so it's just the natural wood, so this should make it look like new. That's what I'm thinking. And it says that it's urethane, and all the floors are done in polyurethane. And also, I need to redo the front door, you know, put a, a little finish on it. And um, let's see, because I think these floors, I think they've been done for probably 25 years, so they've held up really, really well. And the only one showing anywhere is here in the kitchen. Even at the front door, there's nowhere or the back door. But here in the kitchen, I guess, I spent a lot of time walking around in the kitchen. I don't know. And uh, But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that today. And then we're going to be off for a while. We both need to rest up, I can tell you we do. We've, we've gotten pretty tired, especially Mr. Bucky. So we're gonna uh, just do these two things today. I'm gonna cook some chicken and dumplings and uh, then we're gonna rest. All right, we will see y'all next time, bye.